Trini in the building. So what's going on with you, little lady? How you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. All right. I appreciate Just sitting here at home right now. All right. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So uh, I came across your, you know, we just going to jump right into it. So I came across your your post on uh, on the She Trucking Facebook group. And I, I, I looked, you know, I read it. And it's, you know, it's an interesting background uh, on you and your uh, son. So before we talk about your son uh, okay. and his situation, uh, let's talk about yours for a minute. So what, what, what would you, you know, introduce yourself and let everybody know what you was doing before you got into, you know, got into, got your CDLs? Oh, okay, then. Well, like I said, my name is Trini. Um, and I'm a mother of four grown adult, adults. And um, what I was doing before I got my CDLs, I actually was working in the judicial system, you know, um, as a courtroom clerk. Mm. But also as a uh, administrative assistant to one of the judges that I was uh, uh, working with in the probate system. So, okay, so, so as, I could just come from that. That's my background. As, as a courtroom clerk... Uh, you you was the one that mm-hmm. you was the one that got all the cases together and everything. Yes, yes. Whether it was a traffic matter, civil, real estate, criminal, I was the one that was like I said, making sure everything was um, checked in as far as like the cases. What we ever we what we had on our docket mm-hmm. that we had every every file there, and you know as well as checking in defendants, police officers, attorneys. Uh, prepping the docket and prepping the file for the judge, so when the judge comes out on the bench, you know everything can run smooth. Oh, okay, that's what's up. Um, your phone mm-hmm. number, your phone number shows you from Michigan. So what? What are you from Michigan, or or just that your phone is from Michigan? No, I'm from Michigan. I actually was born in Georgia, and but my mom moved up here many years ago. So most of my life, you know, has been here in Michigan. Uh, okay, Detroit, Michigan, or what part of Michigan? Yes, I'm sorry, Detroit, Michigan. Oh, that's what's up. I'll be uh, I'll be coming out yes. that I'll be coming out that way in about uh, in about a month or so. I'll be hitting up. Oh, uh, okay. I'll, I'll be hitting up uh, MGM Grand and uh, Motor City right quick. So, yes. Yeah, uh huh. I'm gonna okay. you know gonna take a little a little weekend sabbatical up there right quick. Uh, all right. So so this so you. Uh, county clerk, county court clerk for the city of Michigan, or for, or for the uh, for the city of Detroit. Oh, for the city of Detroit. Okay, so city Detroit. of Detroit. Yeah, Wayne County, city of Detroit. Yeah. Okay, so I- I'm going to assume you 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 put together some interesting cases. What? What's some of the interesting cases that come across your mind as 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 interesting? Oh wow, let me see. Um, let me think real quick because we had plenty of them, I, yeah, and we have plenty of interesting. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and we have plenty of interesting people that come in there because you know they're just one mad that the, a police officer gave him a ticket, so mm-hmm. they come in there with attitude. Mm-hmm. Um, it's one interesting case uh, when. We were actually on the real estate docket, and this was something that was in the news. Mm-hmm. It was where one of the this defendant, well, this tenant, you know, she was had, um, she was brought to court because she hadn't paid her rent. Right. So, like I said, the story ended up in the news where, when she was being evicted, mm-hmm. that the court officers or the bailiffs that went out to do the eviction, unfortunately, found, you know, um, her children, where she had, you know, took their life. You know, so that was sad, traumatizing, you wait, know, so that kind of, you know. Wait, 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 <laughs> This isn't the one where the chick had her son in a, uh, in a freezer, wouldn't it? Yes. Oh, my God. That's the one. Oh, my God. I, that was the one. Wh- and she, that lady was Woo! Yes, I I, I think yes. she, I think she killed them because they did something. They did something. I yes, think she killed it was. Little, it was she killed the little boy first. The little boy because yes, she did. 
and then she killed the uh, the and, daughter second, and she had them both in the deep freezer. Yeah, and uh, their bodies in the deep freezer. And you know? when and when the and when the uh, officers went out there to evict her, Do that's the when they noticed. That's mm-hmm. when they noticed the you know the stench. Well, yes, and then also because they have to remove the property from the home, you know, uh, when they went to go move the deep freezer, of course, they opened it, you know, to see if stuff, something was in there, and that's when they saw the bodies, you know. So. Wow, and you, mm-hmm. you, you, you was a part of that, uh, you was a part of that case? Surviving children were physically abused by this defendant. That's a lie. My son hold owned on. mouth. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 Miss Blair. I, you notice the speaker that we had set up in the back. If you can't uh, behave yourself, you're going to get. Okay, she listen, trying no, 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 listen, listen. You're going to get an opportunity to speak. If you can't behave yourself, I'm going to put you in the back. I am the only one throughout both these cases. I haven't lied about anything. As horrendous as everybody think I am, that's fine. But I'm the only one that's not lying about anything, and that doesn't even make sense in any type of world that they would allow. What, what type of real man gonna let somebody keep them away from the kids? Everybody's making about me saying that I kept them away from the kids. I never did. Okay, well, the most So that'll come out here, July 27th when my daughter gets up there. So I don't know why they're acting like children. it's not going to come out. This isn't about Alexander Dorsey. Do you have anything I'm else to say? I'm talking about his father. Do you have anything else you I want to say? He's prosecutor. I can't see your face, but I wish I could. You disgust me. The Dorsey family disgusts me. Because how dare you say that didn't happen to my son? You weren't there. Y'all was never there. Well, the real estate part, the eviction part, um, um, my judge was one of the judges that her case had came before for the eviction. Oh, for the eviction. Um, Okay. For the eviction, yeah. But there was another judge also because it was like she was in our courtroom first uh, with the case. And then when the landlord brought her back again, you know, it went to another judge. So basically between my judge and the other judge who who did the eviction part, you know, we remember her in court you know we remember seeing her in court oh you know and when the story hit it just blew you know it kind of like blew us away like wow she was standing right here in court not too long ago yeah, how how did that make how how did that make you feel to come find the to, to come find that out I, it was heartbreaking because um when it comes to life or with children you know you can't really wrap your head around how right. can someone right Hey, like a, mo- a mother or even a father, mm-hmm. how can they come to that decision to want to take the life of their own child, you know, or any child? So it was sad. It was really heartbreaking for me to hear that being a mother as well, because I couldn't imagine, you know, what those children went through or had to deal with. And then especially with the two that were still surviving in, in the home, you know, every day, yeah. how it was going to affect them down the line, you know, because she still had two other children that were still living. Exactly. And and she yeah, so that was a sad situation. Oh, she she had um, I mean, she was she was all over the place. I I think uh, they yes, she was. They had uh, they they showed her when she came back in, and I think she cut her all her hair off, and mm-hmm. uh, she cut all her hair off, and then she did that messed up interview talking about that she'll do it again. Mm-hmm. Uh, man, that's whoo, that was. That was heartbreaking. That that was heartbreaking that's, that's, and, that's and disturbing. That's one of the ones that I can really, it's very disturbing. So that right there is one case that really sticks, you know, with me because, like I said, of the magnitude of it and being, being in the media and everything. So Wow. And besides, you know, the traffic cases that we get where people come in, you know, they're upset be with the police officer and they're mad, you know. Now, let they me, always take it out on the staff. Now, let, me ask, now <laughs> let me ask you a question. Uh, as far as traffic mm-hmm. uh, traffic goes, because I I had my fair share of of traffic court, but did did, did mm-hmm. you guys was you a part of the actual trial after they say not guilty? Was you part of that, or was you part of the of the pre trial where they come in to say whether they're guilty or or not guilty? You mean in her case? Well, no, no, no. I'm talking or about. I'm, I'm talking about in 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 the traffic case, traffic court. Uh, you know how? Well, what what ours here in Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio, we we mm-hmm. we get we get the ticket. We have to show up in court on this date. We go to court, mm-hmm. and that and that court is called like an arraignment. So we'll we'll go in there and say 
guilty or not guilty, and then we'll get another court date. So was you part of the arraignment part or, or were you part of the actual uh, part where they come back to actually, you know, after they say not guilty and then the oh. cop got to show up and all that good stuff? Oh, okay. I, I, yeah. No, I was um, actually, I was a part of the whole process, basically how it is in Detroit. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, when a person's given a ticket, um, they appear in court on the, like you said, the on arraignment the date. date. Right. Um, like you said, on the ticket date, they said whether or not if they're guilty or not guilty, then mm -hmm. we're, we scheduled them for uh, either the a pre-trial trial. date or a trial date. Right. Right, exactly. So when they come back, they're coming back to the same judge, meaning, you know, by me being the judge's courtroom uh, clerk, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm still a part of that process. So it's still that that flow of uh, the case that comes through our system, I okay. mean, through our courtroom. Okay, so now they come back. They 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 say not guilty. They they come back. They in front of the judge now. You know they there. They lawyer there. If they have a lawyer, the prosecutor there and the cop. What I want to know mm -hmm. is, is it the same for like for our judicial system? I mean system that if the cop don't show up for whatever reason, is mm -hmm. the case dismissed? Yes, it is. Mm. It's the same. It's the same. Mm -hmm. It is. Okay. What? And that's why I, you know, that's why I would always tell family, friends, or anyone, mm. you know, um, when they're issued a ticket, you know, don't Say, just, you know, assume that you have to write. Yeah, exactly. Don't don't just pay the Take ticket. Take it to court. You know? Take it to court. A ask for a hearing date. Right. Yeah, ask for a hearing date. Come in on a hearing date, you know. And if you still want to plead not guilty, it'll be set for trial. The officer's going to be notified. And I always tell them, if the officer's not here for the trial date, it's, it's going to be dismissed. So it, take your chances that way instead of just paying a ticket, you know. Is it is it true that the that the cops that, that has to show up for court, do they get do they get uh do they get paid extra for that? You know, I was always told that, you know, and um, I think so. I want to say I think so, but I couldn't, I can't verify whether or not if they do or not. Oh, okay. So but it was always talk about that, you know, that they got paid for being in court. All right. So traffic court, give, give me a, give me a good one where a person had a dismissed case and give me a good one of a person that actually, uh, actually didn't, didn't, uh, had to you know, the cop showed up uh, for whatever reason and he wasn't able to, you know, he had to pay the court costs and all that good stuff. Okay, let me see. A good one where it was dismissed because the cop didn't show up. Well, let me see. Well, I know there's been a lot of them I can probably talk on. Mm -hmm. um, and people have been fortunate on those, on uh, a multitude of those situations. Um, wow, one that, I don't even know if one actually sticks out for me. Um, probably one maybe where someone was ticketed for, and I'm thinking real quick, ticketed for, um, like maybe being in the park after dark or something like that, or, okay. Okay. um, yeah, like being in the park after dark and they, being on the ticket. Still, is they always, still giving oh. tickets for that? Like, really? <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. So they still they, giving tickets for that. So, but they, the, the, the person that got that ticket was able to, able to beat it because what the park ranger didn't show up. You're right. Because the officer didn't show up for the trial date that, um, was scheduled. Oh, yeah. Okay. And on those in the parks at the dark, you know, usually the officer kind of writes on there, you know, some details about what was going on in the park. And, right. you know, you'd be kind of curious to read it. You know, you'd be like, Oh, that's what they was doing in the park. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right. I, I would assume right, so yeah. they in the park after dark, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so, what, what, you'd be like, wow, really? You just get, it's like, you couldn't just get a room? <laughs> <laughs> what What was the time where the the cop actually showed up and, and the the defendant tried to, tried to still weasel his way out of it, but he couldn't? Okay, on one of those that might come to mind, I'm thinking uh, we're... A defendant, this particular defendant, um, kept wanting one of his his um, case to go to trial. It was uh, it was for DUI, you know, driving oh, under the, the influence. Okay, okay. Yes, 
his brother out of the ambulance, and he just just was adamant about, you know, um, having to go to trial and, you know, having a jury trial set for it. And you just, I guess he just felt like if he did it as a jury trial that they would find him not guilty, but it didn't work out in his favor because, of course, the officer showed up. The officer was there, and then the jury, like I said, after the case was heard and presented before the jury, the jury can still came back and found him guilty. So, <laughs> oh, so much know, for that, bro. Because, you know, right. Yeah, because he wanted to say that he wasn't driving his vehicle under the influence. He right. was sit just in his vehicle sleeping, you know. Oh, and um, wait, wait. That you know, that's that's a slippery slope so right there. So wait, he yeah, was, that he, he, he but he was behind the wheel though. He was behind the wheel. He was in the vehicle. He was asleep, mm. and uh, but the vehicle's engine was still running. Oh so my god! It's kind of like you know you still right. Yeah, you still yes. Yeah, I let you know this is what <laughs> you know. I I don't drink under the influence or or drive mm-hmm. or anything like that. But I was told that in any case, get out, take the keys out. And get into the passenger seat and then go to sleep. Would they? Would, would mm, that okay. still? Would that still? You know, would they would they still be okay if they do it that way? You know, that sounds like that would make good sense, and I would hope so because the the keys are not in the ignition. Mm-hmm. I'm not in the driver's seat, mm-hmm. and then the engine's not running. So you know, I'm just over here on the side sleeping. I knew that I need to pull over and sleep. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I would hope that that wouldn't have a good, uh, um, a negative uh, factor on if they were to roll up on, you know, pull up on you and, you know, investigate to see why this vehicle was sitting over here to the side and right. they see you in the passenger seat. I would hope that they would be like, okay, well, you know, we're not going to ticket him, but, you know, they, they he does split. need to get right. home somehow. Now, exactly. Now, let me ask you this. After everything is said and done, uh, you know, with the court cases, y'all pull them up and all like that. Uh, do you guys, uh, like, let's say for the people that, you know, that, that, uh, that didn't win the case or whatever the case, you know, traffic and I'm, I'm still on the traffic part. So, you know, they didn't win Mm -hmm. the traffic case. Do you guys send the information off to the DMV as far as, uh, as far as, you know, uh, what the uh what the case is the points assessed and stuff like that do you guys do that or 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 no uh yeah we do because once we do our entry the entry updates in the um system Mm -hmm. all that is kind of like um set up and 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 it's able to be i guess be generated or abstract to the to the dmv right so it's already automatically like i said once we complete what we do it's going to automatically abstract to their system okay you know okay. so it's already in their system by the time yep okay so trent 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 trenny trenny, trenny. trenny. i don't know so or if you want your tea how, you know people call me tea as well tea? all right <laughs> so how how long you been yep. in, how long you been in the uh judicial uh industry uh, let me see. I started in 1996 working at the district court in Detroit, mm-hmm. and I worked there to about for 20 years because I had um, resigned from my position there. Yep, resigned from my position there, and I had went over to um, the Wayne County Probate Court with the judge who I was working with at um, 36 District Court. Okay. So I, my title changed, my position changed. So I went from being his courtroom court clerk to when he got elected at Wayne County Probate Court. I became his, uh, as they call it, the title was courtroom coordinator, which is basically like his administrative assistant, as okay. well as um, the person who kind of like uh, managed the courtroom for him, you oh. know, with the court clerk and the court uh, and the second court clerk. So all together, 20 years plus whatever else that you that you did with the with the with, right with the current. Okay. Exactly. So we're thinking about 20. Yeah, about 20, 23 years. Wow. I've been in. I worked in the judicial system. Oh, mm-hmm. OK, now hold up. Hold up. Hold, hold up. T. T, hold up. Okay. You you you're in the <laughs> judicial system. It sounds like a it sounds like a good gig. It sounds like you making cheese right here, man. What the hell? Uh-huh. Where, where, where did where did the idea of trucking come into play? Because I'm gonna assume that you you're you you dealing with courts. I, I don't see no trucks pulling up to a dock <laughs> at, a, at a at a court 
uh, courthouse now. Where, where's where right. did the idea? Exactly. Where, where did the idea of of or the interest of trucks come into play, man? Okay, uh, the interest came into play um, recently this year in 2021, early in the early part of this year, and the reason why was because in 2020, uh, July of 2020. I ended up um, unemployed, meaning that um, the position I held at the um, probate court with the judge there, um, we just, you know, cut ties. So I was unemployed, um, which kind of worked out because by me being unemployed, I was able to assist and help my mom a lot because she had her health had started falling, uh, failing. So I figured, you know, sometimes things work in um, divine, you know, for reasons, work out for certain reasons that we can't see. Uh, sometimes, and I figured since, you know, I was unemployed, I had became unemployed and if I was still working, I wouldn't have been able to, um, be there for her to help her out with her needs that she, you know, needed like on a regular, like 24 hours. Right. So, um, while off of work, like I said, helping her, you know, and I had put in uh, applications at other district courts and had interviews, Mm -hmm. uh, but was unfortunate not to secure a position with those courts. And I'm like, wow, you know, man, you know, 20 years, 20 plus years, years, a lot of experience and you still wasn't able to to secure, uh, um, secure. Right. That's what I was saying. I was like, man, what's going on? You know, I got all this experience and knowledge and, you know, these courts don't want to hire me. You know, and these were smaller district courts than the one in Detroit. Okay. So I was like, okay, you know, I was like, well, maybe that's the reason why this is, you know, not coming about for me as far as getting another job in the judicial system. I was like, okay, well, let me think of, you know, well, maybe it's something else that, you know, I need to be doing or I, I should be doing. And I had just kept, like I said, just trying to figure it out, trying to think about it, pray about it, just to see what it was. Mm-hmm. And um, I was like, okay, I don't, I'm at the conclusion where okay, I don't want to go work downtown in downtown Detroit anymore. Right. I didn't want to work in an office environment anymore right. because I didn't want to be sitting at a computer that's every day answering phone, responding to emails, and having a supervisor or a manager or whatever right. breathing down my neck about you know getting stuff in on a timely basis or whatever. I was like, okay, I think I'm past that. Maybe this is maybe this um, working in the court system season has ended for me mm-hmm. and that there's something else I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. So the thought about trucking came to mind when my son, this is when my son comes into play Mm -hmm. because my son um, was working with a subcontractor uh, with Amazon through Amazon delivering packages, you know, uh, when people um, order come in and he was kind of, kind of getting discouraged or wasn't really liking, you know, going through dealing with the deliveries where, in the areas that they would send him because they would send him out to these rural areas where these people houses was way off of dirt, dirt right, road, and, dirt right. road and stuff. And he was telling me that, you know, um, they would tell him if this, if the um, vehicle gets stuck, he's responsible for, you know, the tow service. If someone has to come pull and get him out, mm-hmm. it was a bunch of stuff that discouraged bunch, him, you know, and kind of had him frustrated. Right. Right. It had him frustrated with, you know, that type of job. So I was, it just had came to me. I was like, you know, I started talking to him about it. I was like, look, Hey, you know, why don't you just go ahead and just go to a, you know, a, a school or something to get your CDL license. Mm-hmm. I'm like, once you get that, that way you're able to start driving the big semi trucks and you, even if you want to drive them from Amazon, you'll be just pulling into the dock, having somebody else be unloading the stuff. You don't have to deal with the people basically. You know, I said, because I know that you are, you know, based on your personality and how you are, you don't mind. He doesn't mind working at all. He'll get a job, but it's just like he doesn't like to deal with a bunch he's, of BS. He's not a, he's he not a, a lot people BS. person. Right, right, exactly. He's not a people person like that. And when it comes to BS, he has low tolerance for it. So right. I told him that would work great for him. You know, I'm like, then you could be your own, you know, you'd be in a truck by yourself after your training or whatever. I said, and then, you know, you don't have to worry about all the nonsense or whatever. And he said he would think about it, you know, but he didn't, he didn't, start off the rip with, um, you know, going into the school or whatever. It was probably like a couple of months or so afterward. So even during that time, I myself was online doing a lot of research in the trucking industry Mm -hmm. and just looking at, you know, um, like the amount or the the number, like the, uh, of the trucking industry, how much it brings in, you know, I'm like, this is like a, this is a billion dollar 
industry. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of opportunities that people can, you know, um, come into this industry and really make a good, decent income. So, like I said, doing my research, like I said, um, finding out different positions, like the truck driver positions, you know, the different type of truck loads, the different type of, uh, like, routes, like local, regional, and over the road. Okay. Um, it was, a, you know, that was my way of educating me, you know. And I was like, hey, you know what? Hmm, I can probably do this, you know. I don't mind driving, you know. I'm not a person who likes to fly anyway, so whenever we took a trip um, to visit family, down south or on the um, east coast, I always drove. Okay. So I was like, okay, you know, hey, so, I can do this. So I, so commend, I started, I, you know, I, I commend you. Yeah, I, I commend you for for, yeah, so for I, all of the well, for all of you. the research that you uh that you actually take. You know, because see this, you actually took the time to research the industry and see what's available and what's not available and what will work for you out there. A lot of people don't do that. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. a lot a lot of people don't a lot of people don't don't do that. They just jump in it. They just jump in the pool with both feet and just and just say, OK, well, I'm just going to let it be what it be. And but mm -hmm. you yeah. instead of jumping instead of jumping in the deep end, you you knew when you jumped in, you knew what it was all about. So I commend you for that. Right. Um. Well, thank you. Your your son. Because even in my research, I was. Yeah, because even in my research, I would, I would tell my son about all this stuff, you know. So it was like the information I was obtaining for myself, I was sharing it with him, you know. Because right. he was surprised, you know. He, he was like, well, what do you mean drive van? And I told him, I said, well, this is what a drive van is. I said, they, I said, they have drive van, they have reefer, they have flatbed, they have step ladder. I was like, they have tanker. And he was like, oh, okay. Yeah, there's you know? a lot, there's <laughs> so a lot of was, divisions out here. Yeah, right. And your, I told him, I said, and each one of them, I said, is, is, you know, with the pay is different with each one of them. So your son, uh, you know, took it, took advantage. So he went to school. He got his license. Uh, by the looks yes, of it, you he say did. he got, you say he got his license back in July. When did you get yours? Uh, I finished in, so I started uh, classes in August, like uh, around August the 10th. Mm -hmm. So I ended finishing september the 17th okay so, so when you, i took so my test just, with the tech examiner i was done i was done on the 17th so you recently got your license and your son had his early this year exactly yes okay. yep in july he got his now unfortunately um unfortunately for your son he encountered some uh some misgivings trying to uh, find a trucking home. What was some of those? Uh, what was some of those misgivings uh, that 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 he's finding it hard to uh, get in? Okay, um, what's um, hindering him right now is the fact that it's based off his off his driving record, mm -hmm. and this is something that I didn't realize during my research, nor did um, you know he uh, realize it or the school, you know share this with us but um because he has um moving violations um on his record it it's it's like a frown the trucking companies frown on that and they're not w willing to take that um risk i guess you know based on their insurance and stuff to give them a try or a chance mm -hmm. you know so he's been getting a lot, a lot of you know no we can't you know um hire you in so it's been kind of discouraging for uh for him because he really wanted to be a truck driver and he's kind of, you know, feeling like, you know, um, why if he had known this prior to, yeah, he you know, yeah, maybe he would have waited, you know, uh, exactly. Yeah. So his his uh, and we we talking about his driving record as as, uh, you know, his his personal vehicles and stuff like that. Um, have you now? Listen, I. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if you, you know, found out, but there are some, if not few, second chance trucking companies out here. Um, mm -hmm. One of which is yeah. Covenant. Uh, you know, tell him to try Covenant. Uh, okay. West, Western Express. Uh, tell him. Okay. To, tell him to try Western Express. Um. Covenant, um, if not, if he can't get into 
you know, the mega carriers or anything like that, tell him to try mm-hmm. uh, try places like um, Coca Cola, Pepsi, uh, the mm, beer, okay. you know, the beer bottling yeah. places, in you know that's 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 in the area. You know, tell him to uh, get with them, drive with them, make sure you keep your record clean for maybe about a year or so. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. he'll be able to, you know, he'll be able to probably, you know, uh, probably get with uh, U.S. Express or Snyder or any other companies that that didn't give him the opportunity. But, yeah, if you're, you know, if, if your driving record is kind of mismarched, they're they're not going to tell you that. You know, it's unfortunate. Mm-hmm. It's unfortunate even the schools because, see, the schools is in the business of making money, period. They, yeah. they're not going to. Someone else had told me that too. They're not going to. They're not going to turn around. They they're going to tell you what you want to hear. They're not going to tell you what you need to hear, because if they tell you what mm-hmm. you yes, need to exactly. hear, then a lot of then a lot of people with messed up backgrounds wouldn't have did it. Wouldn't have wasted the time. Wouldn't have you know? Wouldn't have wasted the money. You know, if they exactly. told if they told them what they needed to hear, but they just tell you. What they what they want you to hear? Oh well, here's 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 how much you'll be making. Here's how much you could be making every year. Here's this. Mm-hmm. Here's That's that. True. That's what they told me. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you you'll be you you'll be doing this. You'll be making that. Yada 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 yada. So forth and so on. So mm-hmm. you get in, and you get your license. And then you find out that you're not able to do anything because nobody never told you about your background or anything like that. Exactly. So Exactly. So on this note, this is a piece of advice for everybody out there that's listening. Before you decide that you want to get your CDL, just make sure that your license is clean before you decide to go that route. Because you will get discouraged if you go that route and your license ain't clean and you and you can't you won't be able to utilize your license. So he right, so, I agree. And so as far as so as far as he, as far as your son goes, um, what what's his status now? Because you said that he had his license since July. This is going into October mm-hmm. now. So. What, right. what what's his what's his status as far as uh as far as doing anything is he is he still working for Amazon while he's while he's getting it together or is he just what no uh uh-uh. he's no he's no longer working with that subcontractor through Amazon mm-hmm. that ended before he started the school because the school he had to do Monday through Friday right. from seven to five and we actually both went to the same uh, truck driving school. Um, so he hadn't been, he had, he wasn't working during, um, uh, the class time and he's still not working. Like I said, he's been trying to get, like I said, locked in with a trucking company. But like I said, since I put, um, put that post, um, in the group, she trucking on Facebook, you know, and some other ones on Facebook, mm-hmm. a lot of the members have been, you know, like I said, giving me, you know, um, uh, giving us their suggestions on what companies like you said second chance companies Mm -hmm. that he can probably apply to and you know they'll probably like i said give him a chance to come in and work for them and they've also like i said given other suggestions like working um probably getting a job with a uh, concrete mixer company or a dump truck company or like you said a beer company or pepsi or Mm coca-cola so all of those things that they share with me through my facebook you know um um groups and stuff or whatever I've shared with him. So I've given him some new leads and, you know, it's actually given him a little bit more hope, you know, because he was really, he had got to the point where he was just so discouraged. He was like, look, you know, um, yeah, I just kind of like wasted my time. I shouldn't even right. I'm done. I shouldn't even done this. This was just a waste because he said, I wish I had known prior to, mm-hmm. or even like you said, with the schools, that the school had to told him prior to, but like you said, they're, they're not, you know, they're just they're there to the kind of like get you right. in there. In the right. Get you, Right, get you in there. So that you know, like I said, with the suggestions, not only from yourself and also from the women in those groups, you know, um, you know, it's giving him some hope. You know, it's like now I can see him kind of perk up, like okay, you know, 
I still got a chance out here to become a truck driver. Now, you know, I, because that's something that now how, me and him talked about doing is becoming truck driver so we could do team driving, you know. Now, how, <laughs> now how's it been going for you? Well, for me, since my mind is so recent, you know, um, I've just been doing my research with um, all these different companies out here and speaking with the recruiters and stuff and just trying to make a decision on which one would be best for me to go to. All right. So make sure you uh, definitely subscribe to me on YouTube because, you know, I, make, I have. I, yes. I, I make <laughs> I make the call to all these uh, to all these companies. I, I have uh, I, I speak with, you know, with a lot of recruiters to get you know, some valuable information out there for you guys to make y'all decisions a little bit better. Um, unfortunately, due to the fact that you don't have that much experience, I could have suggested mm -hmm. uh, I could have suggested a company uh, out of Missouri. That's, you know, that's that's very that would be very interesting. Um, but for you, um Mm -hmm. You know, you, you just to let you know off the rip. Uh, you're gonna, you know, you you're you're brand new, so you're gonna have to go out with a trainer. Uh, when you yeah. go, you're gonna have to go out with a trainer. Um, nine times out of ten, uh, you know, there there are companies, small companies out here that that does train too, but you know, majority of the companies like Prime, Swift, uh, uh, mm -hmm. Nike. And several other companies, Steven, you yeah. know, Stevens, mm -hmm. you know, those are the ones that would that would instantly take you in and, you you know, put you in with a trainer and, you know, get you uh, get you going. Just know that in the beginning, the money is not going to be there. <laughs> yeah. You know, oh, just trust know. me, I've, I've, I did my research. I've been told, um, like I said, not only by my research, but just talking with other, you know, mm -hmm. a, a, um someone I know who's a truck driver, you know, he's been, you know, like I said, just letting me know, you know, your first year is not going to be your great year. So don't stress exactly. out about it. You know? Exactly. Yes. Well, well, T man, mm -hmm. I mean, this has been a, this, this has been a very dope conversation. I really do appreciate you uh, coming on, sharing, uh, sharing everything with us, man. Um, Oh, no problem at all. I'm just, like I said, was excited that you reached out to me to, to even think that I had a story to tell. Yeah. You know, so I was like, wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, so definitely uh, tell your son to, you know, keep his head up. There's there's opportunities out here. He just had to take the time to find them. Um, and exactly, and basically he's about it's about getting his foot in the door, and wherever he can get his foot in the door, exactly. just roll with the punches until until he get that experience built up. And, you know, at least do a year where he, wherever he goes until t those points or moving violations fall off his driving record. Exactly. Exactly. And they and they should they, they should fall off shortly. You know, if if he, unless he just got it, mm -hmm. he's going to be on there for a little. Minute. Yeah. Unfortunately, but, he got two, unfortunately, he got two in the early part of this year. And that was before we even thought about truck driving. Okay. And I wish he had, a you know, kind of just went on went to court. He went ahead and paid him. I was like, why did you do that? I was like, did not, did not ever, did not tell did you, you, tell you don't pay him right out. You don't pay get... him. You try to fight it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yes. And I was like, oh my God, why did you do that? I was like, now that you paid it, you know, it's basically where you admit, okay, I'm, I'm accepting responsibility for this ticket that the officer gave me. I'm going to pay the fines and costs. And it closes the case out. It closes the ticket out. I told him sometimes it's harder for it to get amended where they can change it to where it carries no points or amend it to something that's a non-moving violation. And a lot of courts don't want to do that. You know? Nope. 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 They nope, don't want to go nope. in there and reopen the case and do all that stuff. They don't want to do it. They sure don't. You know? So they I sure told him don't. basically from, right, from now, since you got to, he has the CDL license now, I said, that's golden right there. Right there, even in your personal car. You have to drive with two hands on the steering wheel, seat yeah, belt, seat to, limit. To, and tell that's him it. that he has to protect, <laughs> you know, even though he's not in the industry yet, tell him he still have to protect his license. So, you know, yeah. right now, right yeah. now, his license is his career. So as long as you have him, exactly. as long as you have him, mm -hmm. you know, you have a, you still got an opportunity, but he got He definitely got to protect it while he's not, you know, mm -hmm. while he's still looking and, and searching and everything. And same to you, okay. you know what I'm saying. Same to you. Much success to you. Yeah. You know, I you know I hope everything 
uh, works out, you know, and I apologize for the, you know, your situation of uh, you couldn't get back into your previous industry, but you know, you, 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 you oh did. no, that's okay because it was that was that was something probably God didn't want me to go back to anyway. You, you did, know, so you, you <laughs> did you did what most didn't do as far as as far mm -hmm. as uh, doing your research and everything, and I I definitely mm -hmm. commend you for it. Um. Before we Thank get up out, before we get up out of here, uh, how did you come? How did you come to find out about she trucking? Uh, through Facebook, yes, through Facebook. Um, just googling, no, not googling, but just going on the search. I think and, and typing in uh, trucking groups or whatever, and hers popped up along with women and you know women in trucking and mm -hmm. trucking sisterhood and you know some of the other ones, and I. You just join, you know, act to join a group, and then I um, started really looking into her story or whatever. Got her book and read her book and stuff. So I'm like, okay. I just wish I had been able to make her ex her uh, first uh, ever um, her trucking expo. expo that she did. Yeah. Yes, but I'll be there next year. <laughs> <laughs> you so you'll be I'll there be there next, next year. year. That's what's up. That's I what's will be up. there next year, right? Because this is my career now, you know. So it's like I'm trying to move forward in here too to do some, you know, to do some uh, set some goals and to to achieve those goals as well because I wanted to actually, like I said, work with my son um, so we can, you know, after we get some experience with some companies or whatever down the line, we can kind of, you know, probably start our own trucking company, you know, that's what's start up. our own business, you know, that's, that's what's create up. some general wealth, you know, generational wealth down the line. Well, T, uh, you, you are a, you are a citizen of the Lockout Man podcast show. I really do appreciate that. All right. Thank uh, you. I appreciate again you coming on. Make sure you come back on after you, you know, make sure you come back on after, you know, you, you know, you get in good and, you know, talk, talk to us oh, about sure the, will. talk to us about your experience with training and who, you know, if, if you want to, I, I wouldn't suggest telling people who you drive for, but. You know, if you want to come mm -hmm. in and tell people who you drive for, that's good too. But yeah, get back with us in about a month or so and let us know how you oh, how okay. you how you doing. Okay, I will. I'll keep you informed. All right.